this is the lot which is created and it is in the release date. So if we go to the inspection lot here, the plan which is linked to it, we can see the detail. In the header levels, inspection points are assigned, sample procedure is assigned to it and one operation exists with the control key QM02 and QMICs are there. If I want the new plan to be linked to this lot, let me go back and we can make the changes in the plan first. Let me go back to the plan of this material change mode QP02. Enter and the material is this plan is this. Press enter key and uh, let me remove one MIC from this plan. Say this one and then save it. Now the my plan is changed. At present, if I go for the result recording for this lot, then there will be three MICs in this. But uh, I want only two MICs to be inspected, and I have done the changes in my inspection plan. And new plan I want to link with this lot. Okay, so let me go back. Now I want to uh, assign a new inspection plan to this released lot. So let me copy the lot number, which is this. Go back. QA02, enter. The lot number is this. Click on sample cancel. Once you click on sample cancel, the sample size, which is calculated here at present is five. Let me save this, then it will erase the sample. And if you go to the edit inspection lot here now, then the plan exists. But my sample size is now zero. The status of the lot is now in the creative state. When I click on this task list and specification, the updated plan will be linked to the lot, where only two MICs are there, not three MICs. Okay, and then click on sample that the sample size should be calculated, then click on save. Now, if I go to the result recording for this same lot, now there are only two MICs to this uh, lot. So this is how you can assign a new plan, modified plan to the existing lot.